Hey, this is Eric Kitzelberger, uh, Vice President of Korea, and I am here with uh, former past president of Korea, Mike Butler, a national speaker, and also uh, current board member Clay Smith. And we are going to um, talk this month on the 24th about um, how to build wealth with rental properties. And I'm going to talk to you about setting goals and, and why you want to do this. We're going to kind of cover why um, the 80 million baby boomers, who is the, it's the highest earning generation in the history of the world, yet half of them are retiring uh, with not enough money to live on. Most of them, most of them are going to have to live on Social Security. And I'm going to teach you um, how and why and the math behind avoiding a similar fate. Um, and then once we understand why we want to do this and own rental property and how it, how it can make a difference in the lives of our families um, and ourselves and, our, and in our families, Mike and Clay are going to talk to you about exactly how to go about, how to, about doing this. Okay, my turn. No, the Clay's up next. Okay. Yeah, Go ahead. All right. So, so yeah, Clay Smith here, Masters in Business Administration. I specialize in systems. I'm a real estate investor myself, done plenty of flips. I own a contracting company and a property management company. I'm a licensed contractor as well. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about how you can get into real estate with little or no money down. So, when I started out, I started out with pretty much nothing, a, a loan from my savings account or my invested fund. Uh, took a partner on and started into a property for around $50,000 purchase. I want to talk to you about how you can get into rentals and buy them now because a lot of people out there, there's a misconception that you need cash in order to do this. If, if what you have is time and not money, uh, you should come to this event and learn how to do a buy, fix, uh, renovate, and rent your property and then go finance it after the fact. So I want to talk to you about those things. But also, I want to talk to you about tenant proofing from a contractor standpoint things you need to be thinking about putting in uh, certain toilets with a four inch drain or how to key your property correctly. So come to this meeting, hear about the high levels of how you can get into real estate investing now today with very little money down, just a good network of friends. And then also come to our Saturday class because I'll give you those checklists and those material lists so that you know how to renovate your property properly and take all the guesswork out and decision making. That is awesome. Well, thank you, Eric, and thanks, Clay. Great things here, guys. And you and my name is Mike Butler. I forgot to tell him that. And I'm two-term past president of, of uh, our local CREA group, been on the board, and um, authored the number one bestseller, Landlording on Autopilot. And our publisher called it the, the Landlording Bible. And Bigger Pocket says it's one of the top five books you got to get. And I've got my new one coming out next month. So make sure you're here for the March 22nd CREA meeting. That's on a Thursday night at Woodhaven Country Club. And then Eric will fill us in then for the Saturday workshop that's going to happen on the 24th. Eric's going to give you all the numbers. It's amazing what he's going to show you because he can talk numbers. He can show you numbers and how this thing will truly build your wealth with rental properties. Okay. In any kind of market. That's what's beautiful about it. I mean, are people going to move out of a house if we have a downturn in the economy? No, they still got to have a roof over their head. Okay, so that's good. Clay, okay, what Clay's going to share with you, he's a master when it comes to being a general contractor with his buying machine, all of that's going on. But the number one thing in building your wealth with rentals is you want to make it, as he says, tenant proof. Okay, so, so you want to make this thing a tank. You don't want to go in there and put the, the, the crystal chandeliers, you know, in, in a tank. You want to, and you know, you don't want to put carpet in there all throughout your Clay's going to give you the inside scoop on this thing where you will basically, and, and we're, we're stealing a phrase here from a late night infomercial, set it and forget it. Okay. So just imagine doing everything right up front, putting a great resident in there and you're going to have next to no maintenance if you do it Clay's way for the next seven, eight, 10 years. And that's what you want. And you don't want to have people calling you for tenants and toilets and everything. He said, put a four inch drain in there. I tell you what, if Clay could find an eight inch drain, we'd probably put those in there, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to get into is the nuts and bolts and the day-to-day -day operations of it. Okay. Why do so many investors get burnt out saying that they're landlord? Well, it's real easy guys. Number one is they didn't get the training or education. All three of us here are dedicated to that. That's why we're involved with CREA. I want you to get involved with CREA. Okay, so number one is education. If you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what you don't know, you're really going to screw up. 
Okay. And the other thing is, it's a two way street here. Okay. Going back to my buddy, Jay Long, that both of you know, years and years ago, Jay would ask, are tenants your customers? Okay. And I, I've stole that from him. Uh, I'm giving him credit for it. Tenants are not your customers, guys. <clears throat> this. What's that famous retail slogan? Player Eric, chime in. Customer is always. <laughs> right. Right. Tenant is always. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> 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 so see, they're not your customers. So get that out of your mindset. The real, the real relationship, not legally, relationship-wise, treat them as like your employee. So that means your rental application becomes an, an, a job application, okay? Tons and tons of stuff that we're going to go over Thursday night. You're going to get the nuts and bolts of it. And just imagine this. I want to top it off with this. Make sure you're, you sign up for Saturday, too. Watch this. Just imagine, I don't care if you're a burnout landlord and you've had a bunch of bad tenants, you've had a bad experiences, you lost your butt during the crisis, and when our economy went upside down, everybody hit the wall. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up over this. And we're not trying to stop you from making money. Still go ahead and be a flipper, okay, and be a dolphin, and buy and wholesale and hotel to generate chunks of cash. But here's what it boils down to, and this is what Eric's going to show you. Imagine what your life would be like if you had 20 nice rental houses paid for. Could you stick a fork in yourself and say, I'm done? <laughs> Mark your calendar, be there Thursday night. That's awesome. That's all I got to say.